There. Ha! Hello and welcome to E.T. Garage. Today's video will be about replacing the uh, hood cable, hood latch cable on a 90 Corvette. Uh, as far as I know, all C4 Corvettes use the same hood cable. I hope they do. Uh, I ordered this a long time from Wilcox. And one thing I noticed right away about theirs is the ends, or the adjustable ferrules here, whatever you want to refer to them, are actually a uh, black oxided uh, metal where the ones that are on there now are plastic and uh, as far as I know those are the original I might be wrong if anyone knows if the factory original ones came with metal ones or plastic let me know leave a comment in the description box of this video down below so every uh, other people who watch the video will know uh, but uh, as far as I know, they're the original, and if so, they got over 237,000 miles. They are stretched to the max. Uh, and uh, I'm afraid of them busting. And uh, and if you've seen my last video, I showed a quick fix how to uh, take out the slack if they're fully adjusted out and you're still having problems opening your hood by adding washers. Uh, so go see that video. I'll leave a link up there if you, if you want. I'm gonna wait to the end of this video. Now, uh, one thing I need to point out is that the uh, ECM has to, uh, on a 90 through 96, the ECM will have to be moved out of the way and possibly this bracket too. Uh, they're gonna be different because as the uh, Years went on all the way up to 96. They used a different ECM and they probably used a different bracket. But the 84 through 89, there's I'm not sure if there's anything here in, in the way that you have to remove. You should have the uh, cruise control uh, uh, module and you, well, the module's under the dash, but this part of the cruise control, the vacuum uh, part of it, will be uh, in this area. Two, I don't think you should have to remove that. Well, we're going to be finding out anyway. So uh, it's not hard to remove these. Uh, you should probably disconnect your battery. Instead of me uh, disconnecting my whole battery, I'm just going to disconnect power to the ECM and then I'll plug it. I could even just flop it up here, possibly out of the way. We'll find out here in a minute. Uh, but I do recommend you disconnect the battery and do it that way but uh for my purposes i'm going to do that and uh who knows i don't know, maybe i'll real this and play it safe and disconnect the battery but anyway let me get on with removing this and another thing i have to remove is this kick panel here and i hate i dread taking that kick panel off and then underneath there is a hush panel. I also dread taking that off. Uh, so those that, that's what's been keeping me from doing this cable is that. I just can't stand doing that. It just, it's just a pain in the butt. I'm not sure if I have to remove this side panel up here. Let's see if I can get a little better shot there. Yeah, This panel here, I'm not sure if I uh, have to remove that or not. We're going to find out. But uh, anyway, first thing I'm going to do is remove the uh, ECM. And we'll take a look where it goes through the firewall. So, get that done. Okay, hopefully you can see that. That's it right there where it comes through the uh, firewall. Uh, and let me move this back. My light's blinking off and on. And you see where the one cable just loops around over to here. And the other cable snakes all the way over to that side. And that's probably going to be a pain in the butt snaking it behind the motor. I will find out. Hopefully not too bad. Uh, but now I'm going to get to the hard part, which is removing the uh, kick panel under the dash and all that good stuff, which I hate doing. So let me get on to that. Now 
Okay, as you can see, this panel is off. Uh, I did not disconnect the uh, ALDL connector uh, cable. I just moved this aside. It should be okay. If I have to, I'll disconnect that. And to get to, and hopefully you guys can see this, is the handle. And that's where the cable's hooked to. It doesn't look like I'm going to have to remove this kick, uh, this uh, hush panel right here. One thing I recommend is you get yourself a little magnetic dish or some type of dish to put the screws in so you don't lose them like I do all the time. Another thing is if you're going to be nailing on a... So you're going to want a rubber mat uh, or at least uh, rubber uh, knee guards because this is hard on your knees nailing like that. Now I'm not sure if I can just pop those out or not out of there. I'm going to have to... Uh, go under there with the camera and take a look so uh let me relocate this camera and we'll see what we can see okay hopefully you can see that that's where those two cables hook up to so i'm going to disconnect the cables up in the engine compartment and uh, then see if those will pop off hopefully they will hold on a second i'm hoping you guys can see that but basically this clip just bends up and I'm going to do it different this time, just to say, yep, pop that off first, and then pop that off. Yeah, that made it a little easier. I'm going to go do the other side the same way. This is not... There it goes. And da-da. Okay, there are like at least three of these T15 uh, torque bolts that need to be removed. And uh, you can remove them any way you want. With either, you don't need a ratchet, you can just have the regular T-handle or a regular Allen-style one. But they need to come off in order to get this off that I can tell. So, uh, i got to get that off. Let me get that off, and I'll get the other ones off. And then we'll see if we can pop this cable out underneath. Okay, I'm hoping you guys can see this. I need to align these cables with the slots and then slide them out. You now the, the little furls on the end there, just like a throttle cable would be if you're familiar with them. So I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna have to unfortunately not have a good camera view of doing that. So uh, just try and bear with me and I'll just do what I can do. Okay, uh, I was able to get them unhooked. I, uh, I helped to have a uh, pair of needle nose. Now I'm back here on the firewall side, and I need to pry that out. I'm not sure if that's held on with a clip or not. So I'm going to have to go back under there and look. So I'll just hold on a second. Oh. Okay, I am fighting this. This is the new cable, and, it's, and I ended up taking this plastic piece out, and I think this acts as like a swedge and holds this rubber piece in. So what I'm going to do is take a screwdriver, go right through the rubber boot down into this plastic piece and push it back and see if that'll help unlock it. Uh, so I'm going to go in there, take a hammer or a screwdriver, and just sort of like uh, a hammer and a screwdriver and just sort of like pound it out. Okay, the way this looks, 
it might be easier to pull it that way. Uh, of course, the problem with that will be snaking it back up. So before I snake these through, I'm going to, uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to tie a string to, tape a string to this. Pull the string through, and then I'll cut that string, tape it to the new one, and pull the string back through this way. Hopefully you guys understand. Hopefully I'll be able to just demonstrate that to you. So just hold tight. Woo! Okay, instead of taping it, what I did is I just tied a knot on there. Hopefully that will hold as I pull it through. We'll find out here. Uh, do have to snake these individual ones uh, separately, so we'll see. Hold on. Okay, this is going easier than I thought so far. At least this part. And this old cable is super stiff. Ta -da! Okay, there it is. So I'll just probably cut that and then tie it onto the new one and snake it through and I'll show you another trick. Okay, now that this is completely out, you can see that grommet and this part here that probably switches it all in. So, uh, let me uh, tie the new one on and I'll show you what I'm going to do there. Uh, fortunately, the new one is much more flexible than the old one. The old one is like super stiff and probably from age and heat and all that good stuff. But let me get this out of the way and uh, get the new one in. Now, before I put the new one in, uh, this has to be loose, so this will pop in, I think. And then I'm going to have to find a way to pop this in, probably with a long screwdriver. Seeing where this is at is really difficult, by the way. Um, I'm actually just doing everything by feel. So I'm kind of having, uh, I don't know, maybe I will pop that on there. I don't know. We'll see. We'll try both ways. But before I do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put uh, tape all around this. I'll show you that in a second. So this way it slides through easy. As soon as I find my tape. Hopefully this will make it easier. We'll be finding out here shortly. Okay. I don't know if I like that. I think I'm going to tie it just like I did the other one. Yeah. Get that off of there. I think I'm going to do it just like that. Doing this in front of the camera makes it a little more difficult, by the way. Tie that. Nice knot. I don't care if I can get the knot out. I can just cut this later on, so to speak. Trying to keep it from getting hung up. I think I'll tape that, too. Okay, I'm going to try and get a better view of this. Hopefully you can see that, but here I am pulling the string through and it's going pretty good. I'm just going to get the other part out. That's going to be a little more difficult. Let's see. It's good to hold tension on both ends. Like right now I'm holding the other end and it's going a lot better than I thought so far. Let's see. Oh, there it goes. Holy mackerel. That went so much better than I thought. Now, to get the grommet on, that's going to be the tough part. So, let's see what happens with that. Oh, here comes the grommet. All right. Nope, that ain't the grommet. Where is it? We've got a long ways to go yet, I guess. Oof. That I don't like, but look at what that there's the grommet. Hopefully you guys can see that. 
course you want to get that in there good because you want a watertight seal one thing i should have probably done is grease this up with some like silicone lube or something but uh i'm gonna have to move this camera out of the way and work that in so hold on a tight second okay i just made a really big oops Yep, a really big oops. Okay. Uh, let me change the camera. I just made a big oops. Hopefully you guys will do the same thing I did. But as you can see, I tore the rubber grommet. Yeah, so that tears easily. So I'm going to try and pull that through with a pair of needle nose and get that grommet on there and then get the plastic piece in the back. And uh, then I'll have to just silicone it, which I don't like doing. But that's what I'm going to have to do to get the water out. So hold on, don't be like me and don't yank on that hard. Anyway, hopefully you learn from my mistakes. Okay, this is where I'm at now. Uh, I had great difficulty trying to get the new cable ends on that hook to the latch or the uh, the handle for open that you release pull on to release the uh, the cables. And uh, one of the problems is, and I'll see uh, see if I can show you, is when you put it in. With it in with this latch in the car, you have to pull it down to get the cable in. The problem is there's it's blocked right there. Oh, you can see that. So it has to be in the fully retracted to get that position to get that in and then pull the round like that. So I couldn't do that with this in the car. So I ended up referring to the factory service manual and uh, finding out that this is uh, removable and it's held in by a single Phillips screw. Hopefully you guys can see that. That goes through this clip. Let me see if I can get that in there right. And which goes like and it is a pain kind of a pain to get to. You need a uh, just the right length Phillips. That's the best way I can describe it. But there it is. And you get there, and these two retainers are important because it helps hold the uh, cables in place once you snap them in place. So uh, you undo that one screw, and then it just sort of like pops out. It has these little latches there. I'm glad it does that because that's what I'm, I needed to remove it in order to hook those cables up. I'm going to hook those cables up on this end, pull them through, try and get that grommet in place best I can. And uh, I don't know. We'll go from there. I think I'm just about out of memory. Okay, hopefully you can see that uh, snafu number two and, or three, whichever one it is. But you can see I broke that tab right there. So I'm going to have to source another one of these. In the meantime, I'm going to put it up. And the way it is with just the one tab and uh, try and get that screw. And I'm having a great difficulty getting that screw up there. So all I can do is the best I can and hope for the best. Okay, after several hours of frustration, and I'm, so, I'm sorry that I didn't get this on video, but I ended up breaking that other plastic tab off on purpose on the bottom of that uh, handle, the release handle. And I did that because that was the only way I was able to get the screw lined up. I did that, got the screw lined up, got it up there. After I broke that tab, it took me maybe like five minutes to get the screw up. Uh, screw went up. It's holding in place, and... It seems to be fine. If I have to, the way it looks, I can just pull the handle open, go up there with a small drill bit, and pop a little hole, and hope I don't hit any wires, and uh, put a self-tapping screw in there. Uh, but it, the way it is, it seems fine. So I'm just going to leave it that way and hope it's okay. I went ahead, ran the cables. That's the easy part. I didn't bother to show you that. That, that, that was super easy. I just popped those pieces in place, and uh, like I showed you when I was taking it apart, and uh, adjust it, and make sure you adjust it, and uh, watch the hood latches opening and closing real good, uh, or have someone wa look, watch them while you pull on that handle to make sure they open up all the way, uh, so this way you don't close your hood, find out you didn't get enough slack out of the new cable, and then your hood won't open, so make sure you do that. So this is what I'm going to do. I am going to button up the interior. After I button up the interior, I'm going to come back out here. Uh, 
caulk up that grommet because I just couldn't get that grommet in there. No matter how I tried, I don't know what I did wrong there. Uh, if anyone knows another way, please leave a comment in the comment section of this video on YouTube and uh, how you did it. And because I sure would like to know, but don't tear it. Don't do do two stupid things like I did. Don't tear that boot and don't break that tab. So that's all I have to say. Uh, I say the most difficult part of this is the uh, was that little release handle getting that getting the cables off weren't too bad, but getting it back on was very extremely difficult. Pretty much like everything working underneath the dash of any vehicle, and that's the problem is it's located under at an awkward angle where you really can't get to it. So anyway, let me uh, button this up. And then we'll, uh, I'll button up this move, this video. <laughs> so hold on tight. <laughs> Woo! That was very frustrating and, uh, all because of that one screw that holds the uh, hood release handle. That's what made the whole thing difficult. I would have been done hours ago if it wasn't for that. Now, that's the first time I closed the hood. I'm going to go ahead and try it. Should open. We'll find out. Yay! It opened. And I can feel a difference in the cable, too, because it's so much smoother than the uh, old one. Uh, so, uh, basically... I hope no one goes through the same frustration I did. Uh, one thing I would do differently, I think, if you saw where I pulled this cable through with a string, I think I would also add a second string to the backside of this grommet and then pull that through and then get it through that way without pu pulling on this. Don't pull on this because I pulled on that and it tore right off. So. Uh, if I were to do it again, that's what I would do. Anyway, I went ahead and caulked it. I used uh, the right stuff. I think it's the five-minute stuff. So it sets up right away. I'm not going anywhere right away anyway. It don't matter. This cable is super stiff, I guess, from age. Unless it came from the factory like that. One thing I did notice is on the uh, furls on the end that hook to the handle, uh, they're a lot longer on the new one this way so they did fit but they were just a lot longer that kind of had me kind of worried there uh, if you do this job I hope you don't have the same problems I did I hope you'll learn from what I did and mistakes I made so hope that is helpful this job's done thank God uh, I'm taking a break for a while I got things to do that's all I'm gonna say I hope it was like I said I hope this video was helpful Everybody has a great day and a hell of a better day than I have. God bless. There. Ah.